Hey everybody, welcome to your beautiful table. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to iron a napkin to make your table beautiful, so stay tuned. Well everybody, thanks for coming on back. Welcome to Your Beautiful Table. If you're new to the channel, here at Your Beautiful Table, it's a website and a blog, so you can check us out at yourbeautifultable.com. And we talk about things to make your tables beautiful. So we talk about candles, we talk about table linens like napkins today, we talk about um, china, glassware, silverware, those kinds of things, flowers, tabletop decor, all kinds of stuff to make your tables beautiful. And today we're gonna talk about how to iron a napkin. So a freshly pressed napkin tells your guests and your family that you love them and you were thinking about them and you made special effort uh, to make sure that their stay in your home was especially warm and welcoming. And uh, ironing a napkin is not hard and it just a little, you know, takes a little bit of time, but um, if you have the right tools and know how to do it, it can be quick and easy. So. First of all, I want to share with you a few safety tips. So I have an ironing board, which is um, a surface that you can buy that's adjustable. You can get it up to your height or you can lower it down. So if you uh, want to sit to iron, you can do that. You can also buy a tabletop ironing board um, that fits on a counter or a table. Ironing board is a great investment, especially if you have a family or do lots of ironing or not even lots of ironing. It just is much more convenient. Ironing on a surface like a bed, not really great because you can't press down firmly. Also, ironing on a table in a pinch could be okay, but you want to be sure that it's a heat resistant surface and that you are really cautious about it. So you don't scorch your countertops or your tables with an iron because they get really hot and can melt things fast if they're not... Um, uh, built for that kind of heat. The other thing that you want to do is be sure that the room where you're ironing is set up for safety. So I have my iron plugged in, but I'd like my iron cord to extend out away from me. That way I'm, it's not tripping on me and getting hung up this way. Also, I'm in a relatively quiet and closed off room. So I have dogs and I've put them outside uh, so they're not in the room and so they won't trip on the cord or pull the iron off on them. So if you have children, that's another thing to be aware of. You know, this is a good nap time, like moms who iron. Oh my gosh, who can find the time? But if you do have toddlers or things, you want to be sure that they are not near the hot iron because this could, you know, easily pull over and really hurt someone. Um, don't want to get burned with the hot steam or the iron. Um, let's see. So we talked about the cord safety. We talked about the room safety. Um, you know, I'm wearing a shirt, uh, so don't, don't iron topless because, you know, you'll burn, you might burn your skin. Uh, I, the iron is hot, so you just want to be sure that you uh, keep things safe. Don't get your hands or uh, like body parts near the hot surface of the iron and also watch out for the steam. The steam can burn you even if your hand isn't touching the iron. The hot steam comes out so hot uh, it can burn you too. So enough about safety. I've got my um, ironing board set up here. I've got several napkins. I'm just going to uh, have one out but let me share with you. Put these over there. Let me share with you what I've got here. I've got Faultless um, Premium Starch. This says Firm Finish. I like using some starch on my table linens because it gives the table linens body without being stiff and firm. And so this spray starch by Faultless is one that I like. I like the scent too. It is not a scent that stays in your clothes or in your fabrics for a long time. It's not perfumed, but it just smells good when you're uh, uh, ironing and it helps your clothes to stay fresh. And this Faultless um, starch repels stains. So especially for napkins and tablecloths and things, you know, if even if they have um, some stain resistance fabric, uh, you know, who won't benefit from having a little bit extra help in the stain department. And so I also wanted to share with you, I've got some napkin rings and we'll talk about them in just a minute, but for now I'm going to set them aside and I have some water. So my, I have a steam iron here. I'm using the Shark Professional steam iron. I um, had to buy it recently because I actually dropped my old iron and it still worked, but it wasn't working great. And I had it for several years. And so uh, my fault, uh, I dropped it and it hit pretty hard. Um, and so you use the water and fill it up to the line that's indicated on 
the iron, there's a little uh, water reservoir on the side and you fill it up to where it says full so that you have enough water to create the steam in your iron. Now my iron has been on for several minutes and so it's warming up, but I'm just gonna turn it over to get the steam working. And so sometimes uh, when your iron isn't hot, the steam comes out and it bubbles a little bit. And so I wanted to be sure that the iron was nice and hot and that the steam was coming out as steam and not as, as bubbles. Sometimes those bubbles can um, like leave little watermarks on your fabric. You don't want that if you can avoid it. Now we're gonna iron this napkin on the reverse side. So I'm not gonna iron it on the front side and I can tell that it's reverse side because this one has a Sur La Table label here and uh, I bought these on sale last Christmas at Sur La Table. Now these are tartan uh, or plaid uh, cloth napkins. I know that these are 100% cotton napkins. You wanna look at the material that your napkin's made out of and review the fabric care label. So some fabrics are not designed for uh, too high of heat. Silk, um, like synthetic fabrics, should not be used high heat, but just follow the care instructions. But most cotton fabric or linen napkins are okay to iron, no big deal. Now this, you know, this napkin looks okay the way that it is. You probably, um, you know, could get by uh, with folding uh, the napkin and it wouldn't be uh, too big of a deal on your table. You know, it looks okay, but a pressed napkin looks really great. And we're after a beautiful table, not an okay table. And so, especially for holidays or if you're setting a tablescape and you want your napkins to look good. So what I'm gonna do is just spray it with, I'm gonna shake my starch and I'm gonna spray um, a light coating of starch over the whole napkin here, just a light mist of starch. You can hear it, it doesn't really sizzle, it's just the way that the, the starch comes out. And then I'm gonna turn over and gently start pressing one side and work my way to the other side. I like to iron where I'm constantly moving the iron and you might have to adjust the fabric a little bit so that it irons straight. You can leave the iron face down for just a moment or two and let it rest on your ironing board. If you look closely, you can tell that my ironing board has got battle scars from lots of ironing. It probably is in need of being replaced. And over time, the um, starch and the um, just use of the ironing board creates uh, a little bit of buildup or scorch on the ironing board. Now I could take this ironing board cover off and probably wash it and look good, but hey, they're pretty inexpensive. I can just buy a new one and put it on top. Well, in the time it took me to say those few lines, I have ironed this napkin. And now this napkin looks great. And it may be hard to see in the um, camera, but look, it has body. It doesn't, it holds itself. It's not all limp and wrinkly like it was before. And so I'm, uh, you could either fold this napkin and place it on your table, but what I'm going to do is show you how to use a napkin ring. Now I have two napkin rings here. Whoops, I dropped it. I have two napkin rings here. I'll bring it up. One is a brass napkin ring that I found at consignment. Uh, and this other one is a um, sort of stainless steel napkin ring that sort of has a might be pewter look that I found. I think these were at Pottery Barn on sale at some point. But for Christmas, I used um, these uh, plaid napkin rings and these brass napkin, uh, I use these plaid napkins and these brass napkin ring holders. You wanna hold, like have your napkin out so that you can see the shape of it and grab it in the middle just pinch it up like this and it will create these fun folds all by itself. And I'm doing it with the, the good side out. So that Sur La Table label is right here stuck inside. You probably want to like not have labels at the table and hide it a little bit. So I've made the point there. I'm just going to slide my napkin ring over it and look how beautiful this looks with multiple peaks there. It will look lovely laying uh, to the left of your place setting. Just phenomenal. Um, and it, just a few minutes. It looks great. And because of the starch that you've used, the sizing that you've used here, it will hold its shape for a good long while. It won't go limp uh, on the table. So um, looks good. It sort of looks like an ear of corn a little bit, but a classic uh, look for a napkin. Just took a minute. Let me show you again. So we'll do another one. Here's sort of 
looks like, you know, it got out of the laundry. I washed and dried it. It's a little bit limp. I'm going to put it down with the reverse side up. I know it's the reverse because it has the label here. It also has a fold, a little fold there. And if you get confused and you do the top side, that's okay. Um, it's just helping me to keep from damaging the napkin just in case. Um, but you know, I know that this napkin is going to be um, able to tolerate the heat of the iron. So I'm just going to start on one side and then work, you know, keep the iron moving. You don't want it to stay too long in any one place. It's not, you know, it's, it will burn after a while if you let, um, if you keep it down and the iron stays on. Thankfully, most irons these days have automatic shutoffs. And so the automatic shutoff means that the iron, if you leave it face down like this, will turn itself off it's, if it doesn't move in a few um moments it will go ahead and turn itself off and that keeps you from burning your house down which is really great so i'm almost done with this i'm going to do the last little edge here and i'm working you know one side to the other working my way to this part of the napkin ironing 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 i'm probably overdoing it y'all but that is okay i want it to look super nice and you can see the difference. I'm gonna pinch it here from the middle. And rather than looking limp, it's nice and has lots of body. And here I'll hold it this way. So it looks soft and smooth, ready to, it's like dress, you know, like you iron a dress or iron a shirt because you wanna look good. Well, you're gonna iron your napkins because you want your table to look good. Well, thanks everybody for joining me to learn how to iron a napkin the quick and easy way. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you stayed on this long, know that we have, <laughs> thanks, know that we have a newsletter and the newsletter is the way that I do candle giveaways. So uh, join our newsletter below when our YouTube channel hits particular milestones. I uh, draw a name from our newsletter subscribers and I reach out to you and say, hey, you've won some free candle stuff. Where can I send it? So be sure to use an email address that you, you check pretty regularly that you actually get uh, email not some junk email and um, you'll be entered to win the next time we do a drawing thanks everybody for watching this uh, installment of your beautiful table and we'll see you next time